This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone and welcome to Commander Clash. You probably realize this is not the voice of Tomer. Tomer is out, not feeling well this week, so it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. I'm hosting this week and we're going to fill in Still play Commander, keep the episodes running, hopefully Tomer will be better and back next week. And that means we have a special guest this week, uh, Tom. Thank you for joining us on short notice so we could uh, keep the game going. How's it going today, Tom? Going really well. I was happy to do so. This is going to be the first time I'm not subbing in for Richard, which is going to be very interesting. Yes, you are the traditional uh, Richard proxy of the season. <laughs> yes. So this time I get to be Tomer, and um, I will say that that did not factor at all into the deck I picked today and i'm really excited so i i'm expecting punts and moon folk <laughs> no moon i was really tempted someone did send me a decent looking moon folk deck and i was like hmm and then i was like nah i'm not gonna make people go through this again so this week we are playing viewer submitted decks one of our most popular themes on commander clash so last episode we had all of you send in a bunch of lists we each picked out one that happened to tickle our fancies and that's what we're playing today so before we jump into the game let's go around talk about the decks we're playing so tom since you're the guest this week what are you playing so um i put the i put up the the bat single on twitter and uh, i also was looking through the youtube comments and I found one that I thought looked really, really cool, so I can't wait to try it out. And it plays a commander I haven't gotten to play uh, ever, which is rare, because it's from, I think, the first set of commander products. It's uh, Terriel Reckoner of Souls, and it's a threatened tribal deck, uh, basically looking to borrow creatures and then sacrifice them for your own benefit, and then also maybe hit people with their own creatures. Uh, I thought this would be a cool week to do it, because it'll force you guys to play your commanders, and I'm excited to borrow them for a little bit and then throw them at your face. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, it should be really cool. I'm really looking forward to trying it out. Uh, it's got a couple of my favorite cards of all time in it. So I get to play some more puppeteer clicks. I will always play puppeteer click. I'm the biggest puppeteer <laughs> click stand. So I'm so in, I can't wait to try it out and, uh, just enjoy the mardu of what's going on. Um, it should be a blast. It sounds pretty sweet. I'm excited to see it in action. I don't know if we've ever had a full-on threatened deck at Commander Clash. Out of, uh, what, going on five seasons now? We've been playing this for a while, <laughs> and I don't think we've ever had that. So I'm excited to see if it actually works. Also excited because, uh, well, we'll talk about my deck in a minute when we get to it. Let's keep going around the table. Richard, what deck did you select for viewers submitted week? All right, I have a submission from John Bob. It's Tatyova Benthic Druid. It's a Druid deck, and Tatyova is one of my favorite Dominaria cards. I played her way too much. I would always splash her. Uh, if you know, if I wasn't actually Simic, I would be splashing her. And she's known as the Mythic Uncommon. Uh, her ability is very good. It draws cards. Uh, she's also a Druid. Uh, we got Druid Tribal. Uh, there are some tricks. There was like a little mini guide with my deck, so I'm gonna try my best to follow it. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. There's a lot of thought put into it, so I'm, I'm hoping I can execute the game plan of this deck. Sounds pretty sweet. Uh, Vince, how about you? What de uh, deck did you select for this week? Good evening, gentlemen. I am playing uh, Norn Stacks. That's Elish Norn Stacks, uh, given to us by Toxin, or I think his YouTube name was slightly different. I think it was Toxin Carnage. He said, Vince, play this. So I was like, okay, I'll play that. Um, one change, obviously, I dropped the Soul Ring because we aren't playing with Soul Rings on Commander Clash. So my deck has a 7-mana Commander, which is a bit excessive, a token sub-theme, and lots of effects similar to last week, like Rest in Peace, for example. But hopefully it won't be as back-breaking for, for you guys, and oh, and Seth in particular, as it was last oh, week. Oh dear, I'm scared. I'm still having nightmares from last week's game, where I don't <laughs> think I, I did anything for either of our two games. So, well, it sounds sweet. Elish Norn is a sweet card, so uh, I don't know if I can say I'm excited to see Elish Norn stacks in action, <laughs> but I'm, it will I be mean, interesting. I've, I've never played Elish Norn in Commander <laughs> either, like, as a commander, because it seems like a 
odd choice, but yeah, let's do it. So this is Seth, of course, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and I got a deck that looks really sweet this week. This one comes from Zero Dime, and it's called Wild Bears, and my commander is technically Ramos Dragon Engine, so it's a five-color deck. My deck doesn't really do anything specific with Ramos. Instead, the key card in the deck is Wild Pair, which is a six-mana enchantment that makes it so whenever a creature enters the battlefield, whenever you cast it, you can search for a creature with the same total power and toughness. You add them together, and you get to put that creature on the battlefield as well. So in my deck, it has... How many creatures is this? 45 creatures. And if you add together the power and toughness, it either equals two or four in every single case. So the goal is to find Wild Pair and just double up and have this really weird, like, birthing pod creature tutor with all these small bear creatures, the two twos for two. So uh, I don't know if it's good, but it's going to be really interesting. It's one of the more unique decks I've seen in a long time. And with that out of the way, let's uh, get to the game. Oh, wow. Oh. Richard with the I six the against roll. a field of ones. Hello and good luck. I don't think I've won a die roll this season. Uh, this hand is so bad. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I have all my colors. I've never had a hand this good before. Uh, don't get too excited. I'm mulliganing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm mulliganed. I've also got all my colors, so I'm good. All right. My hand is much better now. I have a single colorless land is my only land, so that's not going to work yeah, in my five, fine. my five yeah, colored deck. Commander's colorless. Five colored yeah. Oh, yeah, I can cast my commander. Yeah, your commander's an artifact. <laughs> oh, I guess Vince will always have all his colors. I totally missed that joke. Just, he's playing mono white, so he always has his, yeah. It's... All right, uh, going to six, another one lander. Is your hand legitimate? I'll I'll try this. I'll try this. I I have a ramp card, sort of. If you're nice and kill it for me, you you will want to kill it though because it will make us all happy if you kill it. You will you will love it. Uh, what something dies that ramps you and helps everyone? It's a, is it veteran is explorer? It, it's legacy staple and uh, against the odds all star with Panormonicon, veteran explorer. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. oh, I love that card. So I see Vince's deck. Totally invalidates my deck. <laughs> I need to find a way to get out from under Elish Nord. Yeah, it also... I mean, I'm, I may never cast it. It also invalidates my my grizzly bear-themed oh, deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, if you have a 0-4, it'll survive. You're fine, yeah. Seth. <laughs> I was excited for a minute, because I was like, oh, Tom's threatened deck. That's not going to do anything against all my 2-2s. Two but then I saw... That's El- true. Then I saw Elish Nord. So we just need Tom to, like, fight Vince while I play Grizzly Bears. All right, Vince, sounds like we're on a team for today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've never actually seen a Tariel as the commander, I don't think, in all my years. Yeah. I think I... it's because Car- Carly are often outclasses, unfortunately. Who wants to be a friend and kill my veteran explorer? Oh, I will, I will kill that thing so quick if I had a single way to do it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Yeah, about that. Please no, please no swords. <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot to mention in my run up, uh, the person that actually sent this deck in was Ryan Zayitz. Uh I know I'm pronouncing that last name incorrectly, but uh, thank you so much for sending it in. It looks super cool, and that's Athalia. Go. This is my one of my favorite cards in all of Magic. Summoned to the top of the deck through pure force of will. <laughs> <laughs> My deck does not care about Thalia. Yeah, my that's th- the thing. If you're all creature decks, no one really cares. Yeah. All of my lands come into play tapped, which is just pa- sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But part of me really wanted to swap Elishnorn on for Thalia, because Thalia is obviously a much better stats commander in that regard. But then Richard told me last week that I had to play bad commanders and good cards, and I'm going to take that on board. Well, you should do the other way, though. No? I-, I-, I think Elishnorn is way scarier than Thalia, no? She's scarier, sure, but I mean, like, her effect does yeah, take yeah. I mean, yes, it's 16 seven. more turns. Yeah. And then... I guess it gives my deck inevitability, right? Yep. There is that. Ooh, what is that? Yeah. I was going to say, I, I love the Sky Shroud Ranger one land opener, but. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I do have. Yo, yo run that veteran explorer to Vince. What are you doing? Yeah. Why didn't you run into Thalia? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm actually a little nervous about Vince ramping into Elish Norn, because then I just. Can't oh, yeah, play that magic. is true. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. <laughs> That's the running theme of Commander Clash this season, is me trying to stop you playing Magic. Yeah, so. you've been doing a very good job of it lately. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'll have to take that veteran explorer to run it into Thalia, is what I'm hearing. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess I don't really care if it dies. Uh, you can't even take it, though. Is there, like, a two-mana threaten? Oh, there's a three-mana threaten. But there's a Thalia. <laughs> oh, oh save, man! <laughs> save by uh, Thalia. This is the worst. This is the worst. Now, here comes the second Thalia effect. We're just all going to sit is here. Is it Glow Rider? Okay, no. I wish, oh, you, okay. I wish it was a Glow Rider, but it's not. Oh, Alice Jorn's ramping anyway. All right, I will, I will run my Veteran Explorer into Thalia. Wait, but that just makes it even sooner. I just gotta trust that one of you can deal with Elish Norn for me. I think we need a path to Veteran Explorer. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Vince, has, you to, get a land on Vince has to sack his lands. See? No ramping for me. That's pretty good with Elish Norn, um, though. Touch over is absolutely terrifying, so that is a take that. scary card. <laughs> my 1-1 one, one touch over. <laughs> I hope your touch over isn't my, my second place list was touch over stasis because they're like Seth, you always say you'll play stasis, but won't. It was like, well, if Seth won't, <laughs> I will. But but I thought no, I won't play stasis. I'll just play just stacks. I'll just give play everyone stacks. a break for the week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vince. You're so considerate. <laughs> Thank, no worries, guys. Uh, you do have all the tap lands. Weird thing where all, all my cards are threaten effects, and gosh, if those aren't great right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting all these threatens to the bottom of the library <laughs> and enjoying the view. You've scried two, so that's effectively drawing a singular card, isn't it? Isn't that the logic? I th think. A scry is half a, a card? A scry is half a card. Oh, uh, I'll take it. Hmm. But it costs so you a turn of mana, a though, you see. Uh, I guess, yeah. That's ten... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. If, if scry is half a card, is surveil, like, two-thirds of a card? All right, Vince, I guess you get to make this decision. Would you like everyone to get two extra lands? Um, uh, not really. Well, then you can take one. <laughs> it, it, it ramps him to Elish Norn, but it gets around his Thalia. <laughs> I know, the, uh, the, the dilemma. Haha, -ha. combo. You're going to make two land drops this time? I am, it's like I have an Azusa. All right, man, my mana base is... Roughly is tapped as tops. <laughs> <laughs> Lanimore reborn in the five color deck. I, what's what's going on here? All right, this is the most epic rapid growth you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. Uh, so I'll just do this well. Thanks to Mister Thalia there. Oh my God. No, it's not my oh, oh, it's tight. It's not tight. It's not tight. It's not tight. It's just tight. It's fine. <laughs> I wish it was Mana Tide. Like five mana great. Far Wanderings. I always think that Far Wanderings, like, oh, it's going to be easy to have seven cards in my graveyard. And I don't think I've ever triple ramped with it. I guess I. Oh, he's going to cast Touch Over next turn. I'm so scared. Then I can block Veteran Explorer. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So you should have killed Veteran Explorer because the longer you wait, the more likely it is I draw two cards off of it. Oh, you've got a point. I guess what I need to do is stop people drawing cards. No! <laughs> Your whole deck invalidates my deck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Apparently, Land of War Reborn is one of those lands that's going to trigger every time yeah. any creature enters the battlefield. <laughs> so, fun fact, another list I looked at that was really cool was, like, Empress Galliana, um, Thief, um, um, Stealing Tribal. But it played like the graft creature from the first round of couple that like, stole stuff. And I thought, I'm not playing any graft cards in Commander on Modo because there's a trigger every turn. Yes, I didn't... And if someone, if someone makes 16 tokens, <laughs> that's 16 triggers. I just need to move this counter on something as soon as possible for my own sanity. Ooh. Oh. I, I, Ooh Tom's <laughs> got a lot of untapped mana as well. I drew it. Well, actually, I can't, I can't cycle on my turn because of Spirit of the Labyrinth, and I didn't want to punt that badly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, what you need to do awesome. is take out, make him cast Elish Norm, and then take it to wrath his board there. <laughs> oh, that'd be brutal! And then I can play my commander as a one-one, <laughs> and then draw a card. All right, now I can tap out and pass. Sorry about that interruption, Seth. Continue here. No, you're, Unbridled joy. You're good. I uh, I drew a Nykthos. My mana base. I'm a little skeptical that this is the ideal five-color mana base. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a Toma. How do you have a five-color deck in a dick base? <laughs> I, that's what I, I... And, and Land and Worry board. I'm not sure. Oh, but, that's a ramble. But so. I have a dragon. That's a big boy. That's what that is. That is a 
big boy. Oh, he's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, yes, it ah. is. I am tired of this graph triggering. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Wait, that counts as the plus one, plus one counter, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. The synergy. Oh, I guess I have to remove five. That is a lot. If you graphed five more times, right. you've got Let's try this again. There we go. Let's try this again, Vince. Would you? Well, oh, well, Lucky's really good. Okay, <laughs> okay we'll take this. Nope. I'm just gonna kill Vince 40 turns from now with a veteran explorer because he's never gonna block it. I mean, the five five flyer might speed that clock up a little bit. Sounds good. I mean, we have 60 minute timers. We can get there. All right, here comes the most fearsome blocker. Ooh, that's a fearsome block. That is oh, scary in a no. world it, it just needs to block. Oh no, that's going to be an Armageddon. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm. I feel like this happened before on Commander Clash. <laughs> I feel like I did not like it. <laughs> uh, then we we better stop this Elish Norm from coming down, or just kill Kamal. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's my blocker. Oh, no, I've got to attack Tom. <laughs> that's my blocker. Attack Richard. Uh, you can attack your Thalia is, into my Kamal if you want. I could pump my Thalia if Thalia wasn't taxing the spell in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> The woes of a Thalia player. Um, okay then, so I guess I go to combat. And attack. Tom for five. I'm only doing it because I got weenies, guys. I can't not attack. That would be... And then I guess I cast a spell. Because you don't want to not cast a spell, right? That's accurate. Uh, this is going to be a bad spell, isn't there it? There go. Oh, or okay. That's fine. That's fine. Aww. I don't care about Are you going to kill my commander, Vince? Oh, no, yeah, as long as we're friends. Seth, okay, we, I, I will. I will direct Ramos at someone else, or it's gonna get stolen I'm, by Tom. I'm gonna scry one, so I'm just gonna borrow your big boy real quick. <sighs> okay. I just really need to scry one because I. Yep, vampire aristocrat going to the bottom <laughs> library real quick. <laughs> I've only just read what Tario actually does. Don't need a worse than Taku Husk. Oh, why me? Because you can Tom. kill it with Aurea Silence. No, 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 Tom. I don't really mind, but I've got, I've got to whine because in the comment section has something to whine about as well. It's like a, it's like a feedback loop, like a Robbeross of whining. Oh, okay, works either way. Oh, you didn't use Aurea Silence. I know. Com no, me and Seth are friends. You have five <laughs> commander damage now. That was five commander damage. There you go, Seth. <laughs> all right, all you need is another uh, eleven plus one plus one counters on Ramos, and that's a one shot. <laughs> Are there any bear rats? There are not. I mean, I... Well, rats that only kill bears. <laughs> That's kind of what I heard like, too. I'm going to be honest. Specifically. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's whoa. The name Pinzelet? Dredge All Star. I was going to say. Yes. Is your deck got like a dredge kill? No, it's it's just a. It whoa. adds up to four. It's literally all about all about the math. It would make sense if I drew wild bear. I promise. Uh, now what are we doing with this? Janky mm, board. Friends, right? <sighs> yes, oh, I mean, I don't want you to kill my commanders, so we are temporarily friends. Temporarily friends? Well, eventually, wow. if it comes down to just me and you, Vince, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's acceptable. That's acceptable. Uh, I don't know who to attack here. So Richard has the Armageddon. Tom's going to steal what? my 8-8. My eight eight. I, I am going to make so many 1-1s. One <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit you with them. <laughs> All right. How about... Oh, your commander flies? Oh, I'm, I'm so going to die to this. <laughs> it's a dragon. Of course it right, flies. there we go. How about like that? It's, we'll, a, it's an it's, engine. We'll spread the love to non It's a dragon people. engine. I th Thanks, I think, I think you should have given me the veteran explorer. You want a ramp, don't you? Yeah, then Elish Norn comes down and I lose everything. <laughs> 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 all right, go go ahead. Sometimes you have to sacrifice it all, Seth. I know. I'm afraid that's what's going to happen in this game, something. yeah. Each player can't draw more than one card each turn. Okay. I'm kind of scared that, like, um, Tom's not committing anything to the board yet, so I just feel like a Wrath's coming. Oh, man, that'd be a great card for this deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I will cast my commander. Mm -hmm. Step one. Play a land, gain a life. Play a land, draw a card, game rule violation. <laughs> Oh, he's got a fetch sand. He can do it in my turn. Someone stop Ooh. him. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just tapping out. Right. I should have done Scared that earlier. Scared for a second. Oh. I will pass. Let's play this. 
I'd be a lot more worried about the Samaria, the Sky Ruin, if all of your lands were in basic planes. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of non basic <laughs> lands in here, it seems. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn is Elish Nord. Yeah, looking that way. I mean, I'd have to hit a land first. Okay. What if he taxes himself? <laughs> yeah. Creatures cause two more to cast. What if he plays like a lodestone golem? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh there we go. There's the land. There's the ramp. Card is so good. Well, I guess when Elishorn rests my board, I get lands with Veteran Explorer. That's my consolation prize. I'm, I'm actually really scared of playing Elishorn into a threat effect. <laughs> but now that Tom's Rob said it, I'm, 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 <laughs> Richard, just making names up now, um, I am terrified. I am quite literally terrified. Um, well, if I sun, I want to, I want to swing something at Richard. So it's going to be the Knight of the White Orchid. He can make a 1-1, one, one, but that seems counterproductive. He can block and lose something. That seems counterproductive. So I guess I go... I have mana for giant growth. <laughs> you do? I do. Would he play it? Oh, I would, I would find out. totally giant growth if I actually had one. <laughs> uh, should I chomp? You should block with Tachi over. I think it's the only answer. <laughs> I think I will pass. Thank you. Uh, I think I want to do this during your turn. Well, you definitely don't want to do it in your turn. In case Tom does something on his turn and I can draw more cards. Ha! Huh, only took two damage. I gained a life. That is impressive. Where's Elish Norn mana, though? Yeah, that is... Well, your things are three toughness, at least. Ooh. Oh, that's a Zulaport Cutthroat. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This deck is exactly what I told you it was. <laughs> it it is. I did not lie. Threatens are looking <laughs> slightly better. I played that deck in the other day on the um, the Innistrad themed one because I had to play every playable vampire in the Innistrad sphere of playability. I don't know what the word is. All right. How do we do this? Oh man. All right. Bad mana fixing. Lose one mana to make red with Nick, though. Then we have to. Do you have a triple red spell? Yeah, we, we have to. Quad red. Shrieking Drake. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Are you gonna use Ramos this turn? I'm gonna try to get enough counters. I'm scared. What, what are you gonna cast with the Ramos? Like just slam a progenitor or something like that? That doesn't have four or two power and no, toughness. No, probably more more four or two power and toughness creatures. Then we can. So pick up. Flamekin Zealot. <laughs> Combo. Ah, uh, that's why you need all the red. We're friends, yeah, right? Of course, Vince. I think. Okay. Richard might be dead though, unless he has a Pongify. <laughs> um, I have Arachnogenesis. No, that's three mana, and there's a Thalia. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean. Wait, am I dead? 11, 8... No, I'm not actually dead. Oh, am I one short? Am I? Hold on. Uh, I was counting commander damage. I think you are, yeah. No, I think I am one short. Oh, that means I'm going to get Armageddon. I'm not even attacking you. Keep you keep saying Armageddon. What, what, what other card are you expecting from Well, me? no, I'm just expecting after you play Elish Norn. Actually, maybe that keeps you from playing oh, Elish Norn. He can just pay green to yes. destroy a land. What? Yes. I mean, Vince okay, wants so... that because I can't kill his lands. Oh, that's like, true. Everyone else's lands. <laughs> but he he would be afraid of the threatened <laughs> that could come out of it. Yeah, I'm. No, I'm, Richard, I'm killing the veteran. No, Richard will draw a card. He'll draw a card. It's all that's, going that's, wrong. That's fine. I desperately <laughs> need lands. In all fairness, letting him draw one card now is much better than letting him draw two cards later. So that's pretty solid. Let's go Swamp Island. Uh, 19 commander. Ramos gets big quick, doesn't it? I've never right? played a Ramos deck before. I guess I'm going to get two planes? That seems uh, correct. Amiria of Int. Amiria's going to turn on now. Is she? Uh, no, it's that's seven. close. Oh, hang on, I'm Five, doing... six. Mist you're Vail. one short, right? I am one short. I mean, you don't have any creatures. I mean, if it's on... I was going to say, my graveyard isn't that exciting. Well, I'll pass and leave <laughs> up my... This, this, this was not very exciting. Mana leak. Uh, can I? It becomes a one-one creature until end of turn. Yeah, there's nothing to do with that. Okay. All right, top deck of the century. That was not top deck of the century. <laughs> <laughs> huh? This 
This Spirit of Labyrinth really, really... I know, good. I know, it's so good, isn't I it? It's so good. I assume it's going to die pretty soon. If Vince actually plays Elish Norn, then I assume, die, though? I assume Tom will it. steal Elish Norn and wipe Vince's board, most likely, at some point. Yeah, I'd rather that didn't happen. You, yeah, I think that wipes like all the boards. I don't know if it just gets Vince. Well, yeah, we I would well, lose I the board, all my board when Ellis Yorn comes down. Would walk away with two one ones still, and then they go back to being four threes and three threes. So he'll be okay. What Seth has a ten ten. Yeah, my ten ten. <laughs> that, that's survives. not that's not getting Ellis Yorn. Okay, well, this, I, I, I've got the aura of uh, Ramos can't attack me. It's quite a good aura. Time to gain some life, and then. Uh, I actually need blockers. Just well, you've got a lot of them. <laughs> I got two blockers. I guess I have a lot of one ones <laughs> if I want. Uh, he's got the uh, he's got the spider fog. He's got it. I can I can smell it from here. Okay, uh, how nasty do we get? Okay, let's go on that. Oh, so he's not Elish Norning. Or am I <laughs> post combat? Right. There's probably something <laughs> way worse. Cataclysm. Oh, cataclysm. <laughs> <laughs> You, you would want I don't know if it's in the list. It feels like it should be in the list, but I don't think it is. Okay. Should I just block and pump Cabal? This seems loose. I mean, you can. I don't oh. see a problem with it. I would prefer that to you wrathing all my lands with Kamal. So if I pump Kamal, become 6-6, six, six, he plays Elish Norn, it's still alive? Yep, that's how that math works. All right. You could also just block with your commander. Yeah, that's. But then that's it. True. Then it. Oh yeah, you could still pump. You could animate a land and then pump just to be double right, safe. Well, that would die to Norn though. That's combat. Wait, why would it die? The land, because the land would uh -oh. be a four-four with three damage marked on it. So, so yeah. So Tashiova wouldn't die. Sorry, I was I was born into Seth and his land line. Oh yeah, the land. Oh oh, he doesn't want to call my bluff. Fine. Wait, did I block? No, you did not block. <laughs> oh my god, I pressed the block button. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear I pressed it, but I have no idea. Maybe well, I just it looked out. like you did, but then Tatyova was like, nah. I clicked on Tatyova. Oh my Tatyova god. did not want to risk it. <laughs> okay, well, in all fairness, I think you not blocking was better. Yes, I knew Ooh. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, right then, so let's... Oh, what horrible thing is about to happen. Oh, this is this is useless. Mm. Now, now I can't even. <laughs> now I can't do anything. How much mana does he have? One, Aww. two, three, four, five. That includes Ramos. Wait, why are you counting my mana? Because you could Elish. I'm. You could Elish Norn. Oh, I see. Nah, I'm just gonna do this. Oh my god. Oh, uh, now I see. Right, Richard <laughs> passed with all his lands untapped. <laughs> he. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted him to pump, but then I just slam a Cory and be like, "Wow!" Well, I actually kind of want to just kill that knight. <laughs> I think I might actually still do that, given this. But my lands have like no use. Uh, hmm. What does this thing that costs what? Oh, stupid aura silence makes all my artifacts <laughs> cost three more. Yeah, there's there's a Thalia, an aura of silence, a spirit of the labyrinth. Right, right, and right, Thala. right. And there's, six. There's a lot of weird stuff out. to keep track of. <laughs> oh yeah, this this just. <laughs> Grinds the game to a halt. I don't have. <laughs> yep. I don't have mana rocks, so score one for me. You could like. Oh no, you can't. If I attack Vince, he just kills my commander. He gets rid of aura of silence. I, th I think you can kill. That's Richard. okay. Like he's do that anyways. <laughs> just to get rid of the aura of silence. Yeah. yeah. But then how do I ever yeah. recast my commander with no lands? We mm -hmm. deal with you half of the stacks effects. <laughs> These these are like death and taxes cards through and through, aren't they? This is uh, this is like a dream come true. Oh wait, your lands don't untap either. Interesting. Yeah, no one's does. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fair. It's a white card, so it's very fair. Um, like I can wait. attack Richard, but do I even you want, want Richard to die? To add mana. <laughs> I can't. I think you want Richard. I don't to die. think you want. Me to I can't die. even add mana. I mean. No, you can, can't you? Uh, because yeah, you can. of this uh, Linvala. Oh, it's a man. yeah, that's right. We have oh, no, no abilities. No, yeah. All right, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pass for this dude. If Richard Genesis waves for a win now, I'm gonna be so sad. Uh, man. <laughs> How? 
I don't know. You Genesis wave for how many? And just things. When you Genesis wave, things tend to happen, right? I'm gonna play lands and uh, <laughs> gain some life back. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, what re- I don't know if this deck plays removal. I don't think it does. I have. Oh, I have a terminus. I guess I could. <laughs> I could miracle terminus. Oh, terminus would be brutal. I would not like that right now. So is Vince going to Elish Norn this turn? Well, he's not He's not <laughs> no, doing anything no. for a while because he doesn't have <laughs> Oh, yeah, he doesn't have mana. Yeah. That's right, I forgot. If we kill him, his stuff goes away. And you do have an over, override. No, he I do, but he has... Oh, no, I don't. But he also has a ton of blockers. Yeah. But he, and your I lands don't untap, remember. Uh, and I, wait a minute. And I've got I forgot that I don't have abilities, so. though. Oh, Activated yeah. Abilities. Yeah, he <laughs> Of creatures you control. Just, nothing does anything. That's a good rule of thumb for our current situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Sword of the Animist will still trigger. There is something on the board that does stuff. And and touch over half oh. triggers. I'm gaining a life. Oh. I'm gaining a life. Oh. Ooh, strip mine for that Amiria is sexy. Yeah, we're probably going to have to get rid of Amiria. Um, but he has nothing in his graveyard. Well, eventually. Right. Picking to it must want something done. It puts him down a land, too. That's that the true. untapped that land. Absurd. But it also puts him down on land. That's yeah, that is true. Well, I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'll play this thing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no. Oh no, hang on, wait. Doesn't, he doesn't have abilities. Oh, that's not. <laughs> yeah, good. it's just a one-one. <laughs> uh, nothing does anything. I got to remember that. Uh, I'm also at risk of just dying to plain old combat damage. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have blockers. Why don't I have any abilities? <laughs> All right. Limvala says. Shh. All right, I guess we'll play this thing, which also has no ability. All right, it's a 2-2 blocker. Oh, wait, so if he attacks, he can uh, yeah. play whatever scary thing this is under here. Strip mine! It might It might just be another land. It's, strip mine? Like, these lands are important. I don't know if I can just strip, uh, not, strip mine willy-nilly here. Have you seen how many horrible things are in Vince's deck? There's got to be something that's going to make us miserable under there. Like It's actually not a lock piece, weirdly. <laughs> Um, so I guess oh. I attack it, uh, here. When you zoom in on the upside down magic card, does it look super weird to you guys? Upside down? It's different back, isn't it? What card is upside it's, down? It's a different it's back, different, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, they, yeah. Got, they got this weird magic online back now. Oh, that's... It's... Oh, okay. I don't know why, but... It's the new one. It's, it's an, the new card back new they can't thing. actually use. <laughs> well. Like that. What's beneath the Windbriskites? Who knows? <sighs> It can't be good. Another Windbrisk Heights. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually possible. <laughs> a boat. Wait, wait, wait. What if it's... Do you have to pay the Aura of Silence tax? No, right? No, it's... You may play, not cast, yeah. I think. That's why you can play lands off of it, if I'm And correct. plus, it, Aura of Silence I'm doesn't hurt Vince at all. But what if it was a, a Solemn or something? You're, you're thinking of Thalia, not... No, Aura of Silence only affects opponents. Oh. Oh, what? If, yeah, yeah but, okay. but as far as I understand it, because you play and not cast, yeah, yeah. it shouldn't... Well, we're about to find out, because it's a non-creature spell, so we're about to find you, out. You knew what I was asking. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. I don't think Are it we does. All dead? Enough what is this? <laughs> no, 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 it's just... it's. Uh, okay, am I dead? Cast. Oh, it says... Modus has cast, so actually I can't do it. Uh, ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, That's it's a, it's a yeah. two-mana spell. Ha-ha. Uh-huh. Got him. Oh, <laughs> Hmm, I don't know if that's actually how it's meant to work. I'm not a, I've never tried to use a hideaway. Aren't you a death and taxes yeah. player? You should know how these taxing things work. Yeah, but when Briskite's only played in the bad white decks, <laughs> so I never played with it. I'm just looking now, real quick, to see if that's correct. Oh no, that is how it works. So everyone in the comments will be like, oh, doesn't he play Thalia loads? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, can't cast that. Oh, but Moving you get on. to keep it, though. Interesting. So you can just do it again. Yeah, but I also tapped it. both my lands into oh. the <laughs> Kali That's so the most the important best. part. Oh, man. Someone needs a Wrath. I would be so happy for the Wrath. Well, wait, no. Tom can uh, untap green. and threaten this turn. Yeah, but what's he going to threaten? What will happen? He could steal Hakori and then you guys could block Yeah, but then Vince untaps that. first, though, so... <laughs> Remember when I kept but, talking about all of these coming to play tap lands and how useless they are? Oh, boy. Yep. Yielding through this turn. I guess the new Windbrisk Heights might actually say cast on it from the event deck, perhaps. It might be a templating. Does it moto mm. automatically give you the latest Oracle text? I don't... It does when you right click on it. So it says play. Yeah. I'm just an idiot, and I don't know how my favorite card in Magic works with the Windbrisk Heights. Ooh. 
Untap land. Score. You have so much man. Oh no, you don't. We ball. I, I don't really. I still don't know if I want to attack Richard. <laughs> you did it last turn. <laughs> you don't want this turn either. But you're. Uh... Yeah. Just just send ten damage at at Kenobi. Make him sacrifice the aura. But then I can never replay no. my one actual threat. Yeah, but then maybe. And we also can that help. that unlocks Tom. From don't unlock Tom. I don't, I don't know. You want to cast something? Yeah, I would. I wanted to cast an Orzov signet last turn, but it cost five instead of two. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. I don't think that sounds very playable. If I'm honest. Um, nope. Cards these days are just not as good as they used to be. I'm gonna wait one more turn. Next turn, Tom. Next turn. After you cast your five mana <laughs> Orzov signet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Corey. Oh, I need fetch. Oh wait, fetch knights don't even. Hey. Oh, I guess they draw me a card. I need more life gain. <laughs> I think Do Seth. You... I think I generally think you should kill Richard. Why should? Get, you know what he's like. He'll he just probably win. will. If you don't kill him now, he will just win. <laughs> the guy, to kill him, the guy that has the board totally win. locked down. I, or I literally have nothing because my engine has been off the entire game. Uh, I definitely want to kill Vince because he's annoying me most. But I can't. I can't <laughs> kill. Yes! I can't kill him because of the aura <laughs> silence. Well, I'm just going to sit here and gain a life every turn. <laughs> Offset Vince's Oh, it's three turning damage. my Limbala clock down. Uh, should I? There's no point in strip mining him this turn either. Okay. Not really, no. Plays Mother Runes. I've, Watch. <laughs> I really wish I hadn't tapped my Windows Do I have cards. Wraths? Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Lands. Wait, so... Next turn? <laughs> you can win Brisk Heights? If he untaps it, yeah. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> The problem with Knight of the White Orchid filtering lands out of my deck is that I'm less likely to then draw untapped lands. That's the problem I've got here. It'll be good if Hikori ever dies, then you'll have lots of mana. That is true. That, then I can cast out a Shnorn. Knight of the White Orchid's a 3-3. Three, three. Tom's just going to end step, terminate Hikori, <laughs> untap, and... Oh god, that'd be beautiful. Disgusting things. <laughs> you could spend your next four turns or something pumping, Richard. <laughs> Over overrun and then spend four turns on tapping your lands. Well, I can't. I can't pump. Oh, that's. Right. Oh, <laughs> I have no ability. Oh, that's great, right. Invala. I totally uh, forgot. No, nothing does anything. I keep forgetting. Nothing does anything. Well, nothing is true. There's, a, the end, there's an elf for Tariel if you ever get to it. Yeah, I'm excited to eventually cast my commander too. <laughs> like in the future, sometime. A few, yeah, several turns from now. I mean, Tom yeah. just needs a threatened effect, and then he can threaten the Hokari but, or but then it, the Linval. I mean, I will 100% jump on this grenade as long as y'all don't attack me for it. Um, I have, I actually drew literally straight up Wait, threatened. Wait, what does threatening it even do? Kill I it? can threaten the Hokari and attack it into, like, Richard oh. or yourself, and you can block it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I will not attack you if you do that. All right, cool. Sounds great. I'm going to borrow this real quick. No! I drew actual threat <laughs> too, right when you said that. I want to put it out there. And that art is that awesome. Is, as I've right. never I seen this art. That's super sweet. He's like, I'm a brand you. <laughs> Alright, I am turning off all of my auto yields here. Yes, we need to make sure we block successfully. <laughs> Please. I, I was unable to block successively last time. <laughs> yes, so don't shoot. attack Richard. <laughs> <laughs> at Richard. And he's oh, just no. going to block oh, with wait, both are you Kamal and Tachiovia. Because if I send it at Seth... He can kill the Ramos. I don't want that to happen. Oh, okay. So just block with both. All right, let's. All right, blocking skills being put to the test. <laughs> all right, I'm going to the blocker. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much pressure, guys. I don't know if I can do this. Yielding priority. I f aided. Is, is that what you want? This is the most coordinated arch enemy block I've ever heard in my Cast life. Instance. It is, but it's on purpose. Okay. All right. All right. You got this, Richard. You got both. this. Okay, okay good. there we go. Why is he blocking with both? Because you could path one, and then... <laughs> Vince, nah, I don't have path. <laughs> path and swords, and the Hikori lives. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've right. got a Thalion player. Uh, <laughs> everybody is welcome. Oh, uh, thank you, Dom. And you, and uh, you get to oh bring someone. Oh my god, someone. it takes me. <laughs> no, it's everyone. Oh wait, now you really have to get rid of that Emeria, by the way. Just putting it out yeah, there. Yeah, that is true. No, that is true. Yeah, yeah, we... But, but then I get to win Brisk Heights, everyone. I, yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm not tapping this land. <laughs> <laughs> Just not doing it. All right. Well, we got one lock piece out. 
That's a good start. <laughs> that was a coordinated assault. Right, Toma. Uh, Toma, you're not Toma. God, what's wrong with me tonight? Seth, can you please kill Richard? Just please. I don't know if I want to oh, kill Richard. I don't know if you want to kill me. I think I'm not going to strip mine because... here. I'm going to wait till end of Seth's turn to make sure I'm still alive to strip mine. <laughs> yeah, now you can recast Ramos. Attack, attack him in the face. Oh, yeah, that's true. You don't want to attack me with a 10 10. That's completely I inefficient. can even, even get in with Tree Drake. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> People need to die. Shriek, shriek. Uh, here they come. <laughs> really? Oh. oh, yeah. If you want to blow the aura, silence. Yeah. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You untap your lands now. I'm not even a threat. I've got a lot of two twos and three uh, It's annoying. I'm saying it costs three now. I'm so excited. <laughs> My deck still does nothing, even though we removed half of the, half of the lot. Seth, stop enabling Richard and kill him. Take one. I'll take one. That's fine. But I, it's, the, I, right. it's throwing I, I, I your need commander to do this for no to reason. Shift the focus from Vince getting people to kill me to Vince whining about land destruction. Amaria's <laughs> <laughs> down. I'm still mad about that, by the way. I'm still very mad about that. Not oh, good. <laughs> My poor Amaria, it did nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> like the rest of my cards. <laughs> they all have no abilities. Oh my god. Stop drawing lands. I guess we just play this thing. I will okay, say my favorite part about <laughs> the top tries to steal my stuff. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. And then I'll sit here and I'm very excited to untap. And attempt to yeah, you, you, now you get to Elish Norn, which is I still don't think that's a good idea against threatened up deck. That's that was a thing we were worried about like a hundred turns ago. Yeah, yeah remember before, that? Before we just couldn't do anything. <laughs> Wait, what's Vince's land situation here? He's got Dominaria, Zendikar. <laughs> yeah, you know, you've, got, you've got to play mismatching lands to kill them. That's <laughs> part of the fun. If I had some white border bombs, I'd be playing uh, them. But I guess I'd play this. Yeah, buddy. Make some goats. Ooh. Um, I do love me some goats. I guess I attack Richard because no one else will. That's accurate. <laughs> Is Seth scary? He's not nah, the highest just, life total. He'll just draw cards, right? <laughs> I would love to draw some cards. I feel like we, we can't draw cards because of spirit. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we can't do anything. Uh, that's a very good point. All your creatures are literal bears. I just, <laughs> I just want my terminus. I just want a miracle. My terminus. You actually have a terminus. Oh, I'd be so down for terminus right now. Oh my gosh. I would, I would not be. Who's getting attacked? Do I need to chump? <laughs> Everybody. The sort of the animus Share is doing around, work. Kids. So many lands. He can like recast his commander several times. I just really want my lands to untap. Oh, this turns <laughs> your chance, not... Tom. Much to ask. It's a, it's a, it's it. a winter orb under the windbrisk heights. I bet. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, I wish. I wish so hard that, that was true. If it's cataclysm again. Oh yeah, that would be brutal. Because <laughs> I get to keep this spirit as my enchantment as well. It'd be so good. <sighs> All right. What is what the is card? This? Guys, it's honestly it's nowhere near as scary as you guys. I think it's gonna be. It's Elspeth! Whey! Oh, hey! Oh. That's a real magic card. Okay. Uh, that... Hey, all of these... Hey, I I've won a lot of legacy games with some of these I cards. guess that's fine. Oh, well, exactly, uh, that's gonna kill me. Hold on. How many blockers does he have? Can I kill it <laughs> before it kills me? And the arch enemy continues. <laughs> the, the answer is no. <laughs> well, <laughs> you just jump one thing and I'm dead. <laughs> that is and true. Been hitting or me. Seth could kill entire, me. Well, yeah. But I can't really stop that. I'm down to just a sh oh, shrieking drake. A negate. Oh. This is the worst use of negate ever, okay. but I'm about to die, so. <laughs> right, I need to. So the funny thing is, I can recur aura of silence. Is that funny? Because then, oh. then Tom's going to struggle to cast his Ors of Signet, right? Oh. That's fine. Oh, we've got another counter. Oh! <laughs> it's a, oh. it, it adds up to two. If only I had a wild pair, my deck would be so sweet. That doesn't yeah. fly, does it, it? It does it fly, flies. yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm going to die because everyone can keep attacking. <laughs> I will say sometimes. Uh, uh, karmic justice. A little late, but... Okay. Whatever spell ability opponent controls destroys a non-creature oh, non permanent okay. you control. Right. Do your worst, guys. Hey, Knock me I out. get lands to tap with? This is the best yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't think you're actually... Perhaps someone should... Someone should probably kill Richard. I'm just going to say it again. 
Like, he can just die, and then you can kill me or fight me. You don't have to keep him alive. I don't think you're very close to dying, it's, really. You're, it's, you're... And it's no slight on you, Richard, by the way. I, I you know, I like you, but... <laughs> Do you? you, weak, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, what is oh. this? Oh. oh. I want to borrow a Sun Titan. Ooh, to get back toward... Oh. Oh, yeah. now Tom's deck can See? do things. It's like the whole thing. I can do my now thing. Now you can steal and sacrifice things. <laughs> Richard, quickly, activate Homeward Path, and we'll be oh, friends. Don't activate Homeward Path. What is this? No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So don't activate Homeward Path. If I activate it, what actually happens? A Maria. You, you I, I get some Titan then, back. Yeah. Because Tom, yeah. when it's Tom in the can battle. steal, like, like Linvala or something else that's making life bad, and then sacrifice it. Why don't you guys like fight amongst Ooh, yourselves for actually, once? Actually, I can steal them. Wait, how does Tom steal them? <laughs> can you kill? Can you kill Vince if I steal them? Oh, probably. Richard probably can if he's going to go trample mode. Yeah, but Richard definitely. Can, I only right? have eight points of damage, which is not Perfect. much. Well, the Vala needs to die, and then I could overrun. But then I would die too. No, you won't die, Richard. No one will attack you except <laughs> me. <laughs> I mean, granted, to be honest, I have to steal Linvala no matter what because it also prevents me from doing anything. Oh, that's true. You can't sacrifice things if Linvala's out. Yeah. Uh, I need to borrow this thing real quick. What can you swing mm -hmm. into, though? Oh, the Draining Well. Benevolent Whispers. We I know. Hey, this, again, I mentioned that this deck had a very singular purpose. It, it's kind of doing it. I don't know. Goodbye, Linvala. You've been fun while it lasted. Yep, just send that straight in. Who are you uh, attacking Vince? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Wait, what? Because he can just sacrifice it now. Oh, you yeah. Can it. yeah. 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 Turning sense. off all auto yields. What, what is here your. Do not want to mess what do you get? Up. A plus one, plus one counter? No, it's, it's not even a human. Yeah. I know. It's it's not the best of the lot, but hey. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep pace of Tom's Zulaport cutthroat here. Yeah, Richard's just going <laughs> to. Oh, naturally I totally forgot about that thing. I'm just cutthroat. naturally dying to this. All right, hold on. <laughs> I have abilities again, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. How cool is that? You're welcome. But I still can't draw cards. <laughs> well, that part's on you, I think. Yep, that is true. All you need to do is just kill me, and then you can draw cards, can't you? Oh, uh, but uh, that that's gonna kill me too. Uh, hmm. That doesn't seem helpful. Uh, so my so what are we doing? Are we supposed to be killing Vince? Is that what this is about? Are Oh, Seth, come off it. <laughs> it's like, what's the, what's the, what's the MO? Was, uh, I, didn't read the, I didn't read the secret emails, Richard. Do I have to attack Vince? <laughs> That's the theme this week. Did you get the noise? <laughs> Richard's got protection from Saffron Olive. That's what he's got. You have Elish Norn that's going to sweep away all my bears. I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty out of the game at this point. I can cast an Elish Norn, and then I've got one card in hand, and I can probably make a go. So, my next turn, the card in my hand's oh. pretty good, but it was not good oh, enough. Wait, no. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, almost, ex that was I almost accidentally just killed Richard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I oh, all right, we're on the same Richard plan still? Nice, no, I like no. it. <laughs> I'm not killing you. I attack Vince. Attack the stacks player is a good rule, I think. Yeah, I guess it is. And then also the Sun Titan goes away. If Richard taps home with Path, then it, it goes away to a better place. All right, we're just going to play this. I don't think this will ever... I'm at the mercy of everyone here. I don't think this will <laughs> ever do just anything. kill but... me with the sneeze. Well, I know that... I mean, I think you now have lethal on Vince right now. Yeah, 100%. But you guys are just going to... What is Wait, this? What? Is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> if I get my What's... wild bear... <laughs> what? I can... I did not even know that was a thing. Sometimes I really misevaluate decks. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Hold on, there's a card I need to read. So you know, I mean, I can. It's a ramp spell. <laughs> I can, I can kill you anyway. So it's not like I, leaving yeah. blockers back saves you. If I do want to kill you, so you might as well that, kill Vince. That is a point, but I don't, I don't know if I, I like this deal. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Richard, what what you can do is you can leave me alive so that then next turn you can just wrath Seth's land. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you just leave a bunch of forests right is now, true. you can be the worst oh, person. I could have killed you for so <laughs> many turns, Richard. I thought we were friends. Richard, please, the betrayal will be fantastic. Right, well, I'm yeah, gonna he actually literally didn't kill you last. Yeah, turn I know. I know. I'm just gonna sit here oh, and gain god. some life, oh. and you guys, <sighs> you guys can figure it out. Oh, I have to cast these ramp spells to gain life. <laughs> Not to draw cards, but to gain life. Actually, if you don't 
if you don't kill Vince and he plays Elish Norn, don't you just lose to Zulaport Cutthroat? No. Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> that is also true. So that well, it gets close. <laughs> well, that means Vince won't play Elish Norn, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depends what I draw, really. Think about I all those cards, cards you haven't drawn, Richard. Norm. That's true. Right. You could have drawn so you drawn many. So many cards. Oh, that's right. I could have killed him and drew like two cards. Yeah. Mm, I think I'll just pass. Don't, don't listen to them, Richard. Search yourself. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. It's kind of like we're like the something are like the the angel and the demon <laughs> on Richard's shoulders. We're both just yeah. demons <laughs> or angels. <laughs> Hanging them on to do something specific. On stacks, yeah. Do this or I'll yeah. kill you. Hey, <laughs> do that or I'll kill you. <laughs> You're dead anyway. You should do this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, I guess I'm casting Elish Norn, mm. but like Zulaport Cutthroat won't kill Richard because they'll all target me. They oh, target everyone. everyone. Uh, no, it doesn't target at all. They hit everyone. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it's just mean oh, wow. to everything. Yeah. I okay. mean, if you cast it, he's just gonna threaten it and then sack it. And he has a yeah, I and... assume there's loads of like counter magic and stuff. But I mean, what else can I do at this mm. point? I got nothing. I got no loads of counter magic. How many creatures are there? One, two, three, four, five. And yours, six, I have seven. To, I have to con. I have to control the creature, for the record. Wait, what? Oh, it's only creatures you control. Oh, yeah. that's so you don't die. Oh, that's different. Oh, I thought it was a blood artist where it was any creature. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's the worst yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Did everybody miss this? Yes, Just... I thought it was a blood artist where oh. any creature dying did it. I mean, that doesn't mean that Elish Norn is a good thing. No, right. I can't so stop I it need anyway. To, but... uh, pump my team. And then it just dies at the end of turn instead? Well, yeah, because, you know, I need to not die to Vince's attack this turn. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. All right. Sure. Well, that's an Elish Norn. Ping, ping. That's a very, that's a very small Sun Titan. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Cast this. Richard. Oh, Richard. Oh Remember what when you I kept not doing? killing him? <laughs> killed him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. I wonder I wonder if people in the comments will tell you to stop whining, <laughs> Seth. Um uh, it seems unlikely. <laughs> Golden boy. Golden boy, right. Um Oh dear. I mean, Tom's on twenty <sighs> The problem is I've got to kill all three of you because you won't leave me alone. You won't leave me just to stack it up over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to play magic. Sorry, <laughs> everyone's been playing magic. It's just, it's just, it's just been a game right, about killing me, I guess. Who's dying? the The interesting thing with this deck is that I thought the auras and enchantments and like equipment um, and artifacts would be much worse, but it turned out the bears and the hateful creatures were way better. And this I, time d- I don't have um, my usual ten wraths because it's viewer submitted week. I guess I just uh, can I even get in against anyone? I don't think I can because that Kamal. Nope, I don't think I can get in. Uh, all right. Hmm. I mean, I want to get in, but I don't think I can. Hmm. I mean, we need to be careful, guys, because Seth might win off of um, Epic Struggle if not careful. Yeah. Yes, I, I need... That's what we're worried about. I need about. 20 point. creatures with three or more toughness. Look out. <laughs> uh, just Miracle, like, and get the angels. Uh, you play the, uh, the wolf combo, you know, the wolf conspiracy ally combo oh. thing. I wonder if there are any combos in this deck. I know there's a Kiki Jiki, so I'm assuming that that kills someone somehow, but I don't see any of the obvious infinite combo pieces because they don't add up to two or four. Oh man, I wish I had a wild hmm. bear. I- <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to think how I want to do this. Is it Steel Elish Norn? Well, yeah. I mean, this deck does exactly one thing. So you steal it? I and it does it I'm- moderately okay. Is that just... I'd rather you Wreck didn't steal Elish Norn, but I guess if you steal Elish Norn, then perhaps oh, everyone can attacking me. Oh, I was about to play an Orzhov Oh, Ooh. yes, there's an Eidolon out. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Oh, man, that Eidolon. Oh, I just gave myself a heart attack. Okay. All right, anyways. Um, I mean, it's what your deck does. Wait, why? I'm just trying to see if this is enough to actually just... if I have two different cards to cast here. Oh. I want to see if it's enough to actually kill without exposing me to too much. Or, hear me out, hear me out, steal Richard's thing and kill him. Well, he has a homeward path, and stealing stuff doesn't work very well against homeward path. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. I, I see that you've seen... <laughs> My trump card. <laughs> My one card that did anything the entire game. 
His trap card. Yeah. But then again, I can just... Hey, Richard. <laughs> yes? Will you let me kill Vince? Sure. Okay, it's not cool. going to kill V, right? Is it going to... Oh, am I going to get no. splash damage? Gonna touch you. And, and kill me? There's zero splash damage okay. here. You can always not kill me. No, we're <laughs> definitely killing you. How oh do you kill gosh. him, though? He's oh. at 14 life. The usual way. <laughs> oh. This isn't a card I, I put into decks personally, but it's in this oh. one. <laughs> but this is how we're killing Vince. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, wow. Richard, save the day, Richard. <laughs> what? Sa save no, the I day, mean, Richard. You, you can do this. He's swing at you, right? If he swings at me, oh, we'll get all our stuff. Back. Wait, did I click the wrong button? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, three or less? No! Oh, I clicked oh, the wrong no. button! I'm the worst Oh, Elish Ellis ah. did it again? <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 Are you kidding? This is the worst of all the options. <laughs> <laughs> this could not have oh. gone poorer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Ellis literally Norn. couldn't have done worse. Oh, oh my god, are you oh, serious? Boy. All right, well, <laughs> I I'm we gonna get rid of Idolana Rhetoric then. <laughs> this is some malarkey. Oh Wait, my how god! How are you gonna kill the rhetoric though? I'm gonna, gonna bring get... back the torturer. Oh. No, it dies immediately. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I've got nothing for this kind of misplay. Jeez. I thought it was CMC. I thought I was so dead. So did I. Did you think it was CMC as well? Is that what it was? Yeah, the other option. Power. Oh, you did I mean... choose three or less, didn't you? Oh, you yeah, can kill Richard. You can kill Richard. Get him. Go on. No, Vindicate I'm not yourself. killing Richard. Because then you Aww. get back this Sun Titan. No, I don't. I don't think Seth can reliably kill you next turn. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm so angry at myself. That's exactly how I felt with that William Bush kite that one time. Hey, look, I'm sorry, dead. man. I thought I was dead. I thought it was like CMC. <laughs> I thought I was so dead. Uh, well, well, no, I just I should mean, have done power for a greater, I mean, and I get your entire board, and I borrow the draining well. Like, yeah. I did have lethal by a I lot. I mean, remember who you're filling in for this week. You are the Tomer proxy. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You're not drawing hardly enough cards to be Tomer, though, to be fair. I just got too excited. I was like, aha. Oh, uh, yeah. I have the win in hand. Oh, if you bring back Zulaport, you shoot everyone for one. Did you do that? Uh, yeah, we yeah. got drained for something. Oh, sweet. That way I could deal you exactly one damage. And then Richard can have his cards back. I don't know if I can cast any of the cards in my deck. Hmm. Uh, well, so Richard doesn't want to kill Vince. Well, I won't do anything, but if you attack me, I will soul wrath... <laughs> your your, your lads. <laughs> so don't attack me. I can't cast anything <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what do You're I need? Get what if do you I need me. lands for? <laughs> <laughs> How am I not dead yet? Like I thought I was done. How are you not dead? How am I not dead? Yet? I messed it up horribly. I guess I guess better lucky than good slash hope Toma clicks the wrong mode. Wait, does Vince even oh, have a flyer? Man. All right, do your worst. Do your worst. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> you could have just let us... Uh, uh, you could have just killed Vince last oh, turn. Oh, oh, choose the bad ones. Oh, what? not the duels. <laughs> Richard, get the Llanowar reborn. T T Seth, this is completely your fault for not killing him like 16 turns ago. <laughs> uh, you could have avoided this by just simply going with the stick it to Vince plan. <laughs> uh, you didn't go along with that plan, though. Oh, my duels. Oh. I, I, I was with the let's just sit here and try to live as long as possible plan because my card draw engine is <laughs> offline. I just have nothing but ramps, What Rich though. is doing... I think you're going for the points, aren't you, Richard? You want to come second, so uh, so not 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 last. You want to come third. I gotta don't count. You? How many creatures do I have that actually survive in Elish Norn? It is off. Oh, Wolras Stronghold. I like that one. Richard, go for the go for the <laughs> bet. Get get Nick those. Get Nick those in my five color deck. I think you're. Base Are you putting enough colors green? now? <sighs> no, you already have green. I'll just cut you off a color. Oh my goodness. Um, blue. Blue sounds like it's important. Oh, my card draw color, Richard. It's mutually assured destruction, Seth. <laughs> you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> oh, you could have just killed Vince, and then we could have been friends. Uh, I could give Vince Sun Titan, but I'm not going to. That's just wrong. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's too much. That's too much ice Tom, on Tom, Tom, Tom didn't kill me. But if Seth had the Sun Titan, <laughs> I would totally return it. <laughs> uh, all right, so... What's your one spell, oh. Seth? 
something that dies to Elishnorn. So is Elishnorn ever going to go away, Tom? Like, can your deck actually get rid of it? Um, yeah, I should have done that last turn. As long as I survive to my next turn, which is not guaranteed right now, uh, I should be able to do that, yes. Hmm. Just cast a card, draw a spell, and move on, Seth. You know you want to. All right. Well, don't forget about that stupid Eidolon. So if you do anything, do it impactfully. Oh, I, I can't do that. I'm just going <laughs> to... I want to do something. It's oh. going to die, but... Hey, blockers are blockers. It's not really a blocker. My graveyard! It's just no! going to Bajukabog <laughs> Vince's graveyard. Sounds good. But if I, oh, yeah, I if forgot I that it dies immediately back. because it's stupid yep. Elishnorn. Oh, Jesus. All right. Go ahead. Oh, I could have misspelled planed, or I could do this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, mind center. That protects Elishnorn. Wow. Um. All right. He's hellbent. I am hellbent for leather. Untap blast of his ass. God, I, I guess can I kill Richard? I thought he maths now. <laughs> I think Richard's dead. I'm at negative two. How much more damage? Wow, do you I'm need? sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so I, I've put names wrong all night. It's because I'm quite tired. It's been a long week. Um, I guess if I swing everything. At I top. think Tom goes to one, unless yeah. I'm missing something. That's what I'm looking at. Then I get to kill the spear in the labyrinth. Makes Tom the happiest <laughs> boy. Yeah. That makes me happy as well. I know, right? The little things. Not that I've drawn a card draw spell this game anyway, so it hasn't done much, but. Yeah, I like that, I guess. Ooh, I get to get a land. Well, you live. Yeah, I like living. <laughs> it's sincerely better than dying. I'm gonna block this 3 6 real quick. Down to 8. Alright. Oh! Okay, or I can just draw the best card possible for the situation. Did That's you draw too. another mass threaten? Is it is this is it is it insurrection? insurrection? No, insurrection is not in this deck, which I'm happy about. I actually kind of might have snuck insurrection out if it was even in here. No, it's even better. It's molten primordial. Oh. Oh wow. Oh that. That actually kills Vince, and it does kill Vince, doesn't it? It should. It does. Assuming kill there's me. no. No misclicks. You end up with the, the idol on. Oh, and I should have re-equipped the sword. I actually can't misclick this one, which is really nice. <laughs> you can. You could just click my spirit, for example. <laughs> oh, that's true. No, no I'm not. I don't hate oh, myself. Oh, my that lands. Much. My lands don't even solve this. I know. That's what I was the most worried about, for the record. If there was a player with uh, homeboard path. Why do I get back? Do I get back? <laughs> Port or Valkyrie. Hey, you wouldn't Valkyrie. activate it anyway, Rich. There's no way in any circumstance ever well, you would if say. You hit me. <laughs> Actually, I should probably actually think about how I do this attack, huh? Uh, eight. Because you're a hellbent, oh, yeah. so I know exactly what's going on. Uh, I think nine plus four is 13. Nine plus four is 13. Send these this way. Ugh. I'm regretting losing. I've just got to make sure I'm not really messing this up. All right, there's no goats to sacrifice. <laughs> he can't gain life. Wait, he can... <laughs> that would be delta target legendary creature. <laughs> Any creatures he creates dies immediately to Elish Norn. You know what? I'm just I'm just not gonna just not gonna risk it that hard. There we go. <laughs> what? It's wrong. I know it's wrong, but I'm I playing cannot, scared. I cannot believe that. I'm playing so I know it's incorrect. Like I 100 percent oh, wow. understand it's incorrect, but at the same time, I'm playing it safe. And I also want to get back a sacrifice outlet. Oh man. So I can sacrifice his draining well. All right, let it, let 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 it happen. Aha! It happened. Oh let me not forget to sacrifice this uh this draining well. <laughs> All right, that's gone hmm. now. All right, cool. All right. So now I just need to figure out a way to make twenty creatures. My Orzhov Syndic costs two now. GG. Good game. Ugh. All right. Uh, I think I'm dead. Oh, cool. okay. I, uh, I should not have angered Richard. <laughs> Look at this mana base you got there, Seth. What is this? <laughs> uh, I, I have Five color all I'd like to cast if I had my dual lands, but now... This Orzhov Signet now only costs two? <laughs> don't forget that, Seth. You could have killed Richard way before you could activate that Kamal as well. That's, that is true. That's true. I actually contributed absolutely zero to stopping Vince or progressing the game in any way. <laughs> so it would have actually made a difference. You could have just... Killed him. Well, I guess but, I'm not uh, just dead. I get one more turn. I don't know what I could draw. Mm -hmm. I know I'm probably going to draw a wild pair now that I'm dying. <laughs> Aw, that would have been good a couple turns Did ago. You draw the wild? 
Yeah, I mean, I can't... I don't have the colors to cast anything that's in my hand. Thanks, Richard. Wow. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, good game, good game. I'm just going to really quickly play draft format All-Star Blood Baron. Ooh. I know, this, this deck has you some guys, fun ones in it every, that you will not see anywhere Every else. sack outlet. Is there a card I can borrow at random from your deck that really messes me over? Ah, just gonna happen. Anyways. Good game. Good right. game. Good game. Oh, all right. Good so game. that was interesting. Uh, I want to hear a bit about the decks, and we got to see, we got to see a decent amount of decks. Let's start with Vince. Vince, you <laughs> moved into your traditional role of arch enemy <laughs> with your stack <laughs> stack. What miserable, horrible, unfun cards did we not get to see? <laughs> So I only picked the deck originally. I saw, I saw all these different lists, and I saw Elish Norm with Athalias in it, both both versions, and like Leon and Arbiter is in here, and like some of my favorite cards, Mother of Runes. Like, yeah, I'll play that. So I locked it in, emailed you guys, and I was looking at it this morning, and I was like, oh, hang on, I did tell Seth I wouldn't play Rest in Peace and Torpor Orb, but it's got Rest in Peace and Torpor Orb in it. So the deck has loads of like hate cards. It's got Winter Orb, Torpor Orb, Smoke Stack, Cormus Bell. Are you guys aware of that card? Makes all swamps into 1 1 creatures. Um, so it's got Cormus Bell plus uh, Urborg to allow you to Elish Norn everyone's lands away. Uh, it's got Armageddon in it. The deck is full of like vile <laughs> cards um, that I just didn't I didn't even notice. And I was like, oh, well, I still play it. I'll still play it. Um, so it's a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed this kind of clash a lot despite getting completely like beat on the whole time. Uh, yeah, the, deck, the deck's cool. Uh, it would be a bit better with some mana rocks, I think, to like really accelerate out and like stay ahead when it casts things like Hakori and uh, Armageddon. Because only like a couple, like a worn power stone here and a commander sphere there. But yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, it sweet. looked uh, it looked pretty powerful at least. It seems like it's a, a pretty decent deck. And Elishnorn is a pretty scary commander, especially when you happen to run into a matchup like with two people that are kind of playing a lot of small creatures so it seemed like it was in a good place for uh the decks it was going up against today 100 percent. i mean i'm surprised by this one as well I, I thought she'd be a weak commander but it turned out she was very good and then lost well, me the game I think anyway the person you stacks out of the game hardest was probably richard your deck just got kind of hard countered richard uh what did we not get to see why you could not draw through your deck with tetyova yeah, uh, so literally countered by everything Vince did, but the, the most backbreaking was the Spirit of the Labyrinth because there's not a lot of card draw in this deck, and you normally just rely on ramp, and then the ramp gets you lands, and then you draw cards off that with Tatyova. Uh, when that doesn't work, all you end up with is a bunch of ramp and a bunch of 1-1s one that do nothing. So it didn't pan out. Uh, there are some cool things with the deck. Uh, I had instructions to use Guilt Leaf Arch Druid. That's the thing that taps seven untapped druids, and you just straight up take someone's lands. Uh, the instructions were to steal Vince's lands. Uh, did not get to. Pull that yes! Off. And then there, there's some other combos. There's like Zendikar's Royal with Kindred Summons. There's like a elemental sub-theme going on in this deck. Uh, so that could happen. Uh, and then deck plays Bane of Progress, Wave of Vitro. I don't have anything but creatures. So that is just hate. That's just one-sided. But... Uh, the engine didn't get online, so I really couldn't do anything. And literally every turn, I drew either ramp, lands, or a 1-1 dork. So I couldn't accomplish anything. Uh, really needed to get rid of the spirit. So maybe maybe some kind of bounce spell for creatures. There, there's like a couple mass bounce, but there's no targeted bounce. Or uh, more creature removal of sorts. Maybe a Vindral's Disc or something to just get rid of these troublesome creatures. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's a really cool tribe. Druids are really cool and underrated. It was just a, a rough week, I think, with how it matched up against Spirit of the Labyrinth in specific. But maybe uh, maybe it'd be a Revenge Week deck, or at least maybe we'll see Druids again at some point. So, sweet. Uh, Tom, the victor of today's match, what did you think of the Threaten deck? What other uh, sweet tricks? We got to see Sack Outlets, various Threatens. Is there anything else going on, or is that really just all the deck's doing? That is straight up all this deck is doing. Um, but that's, I mean, that's what we're trying to do, right? Uh, we have, there's also, like, as far as there's some pretty fun sacrifice outlets, there's your classic Butcher of the Horde. There's even a Ghoul Caller Geese in here, which I think is really a great inclusion, uh, which is pretty awesome. But, yeah, it's it's exactly what it sounds like it is. I uh, I know when I came on, uh, when I was talking about this deck before, before the, uh, before the game, I was like, yeah, um, it's not super powerful, uh, but it does one thing, and it does it very well. 
And that's exactly right. It does one thing. It does it very well. Uh, if you're playing in a very creature-heavy metagame, um, which this one ended up being, uh, it, en it can do some pretty fun things. And I think it really got to show off what it's trying to do. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun deck. It's a rather cheap deck to put together. And I would definitely suggest it in the future. I mean, you get to play fun stuff. Uh, you still get to play your Psalm Simulacrums, but you get to play fun stuff like Harness by Force and actual just threaten so yeah you can't go wrong it there looked like it was pretty fun i think it's one of those decks where probably if you ran into like three control decks you'd be a little bit sad but when you're playing against other creature oh, yeah. decks it looks like a really a really fun strategy and kind of unique strategy yeah th this is the kind of deck where you want to run up against like uh, a galta or something yeah. and you're like oh yeah i'm gonna borrow that though uh, Ramos was pretty close. Ramos, I was very scared yeah. once I realized how quickly Ra Ramos grew. I figured if it stayed out, I probably would die to it eventually from me stealing it. So, as far as my deck, the deck is really cool. It is a really cool idea. The basic idea, like I kind of talked about in the intro, is it's really built around Wild Pair, the enchantment where uh, you cast a creature, you get a, a creature with the same total converted mana cost, or power and toughness and put it on the battlefield so the deck has a lot of like flash creatures things like dual caster mage uh has crafty cut purse just all weird creatures that either add up to two power or four power and the idea is you can like flash it in cast one of your random creatures and you can get like so many weird tour targets uh cloud blazers azamis acidic slimes selfless squire there's like a card for every situation so you cast your draining whelk and then you get whatever tutor target is perfect for the situation the problem with the deck i think is kind of twofold it's very all in on that plan 45 creatures doesn't leave much room for actual ramp or anything there are some ramp creatures but it could use a little bit more ramp the biggest problem is and i think this is just a good commander lesson in general it's really hard to build a deck that's all in on a card that's not your commander because in a hundred card deck it's you just never know when you're gonna draw it so i think the deck would have been awesome if i drew wild pair so i think maybe the easiest solution i would have or the biggest improvement i would make would just be to like double or triple down on tutors to make sure that i would find wild pair like there is a demonic tutor there is an enlightened tutor but with wild pair being so essential to what the deck's trying to do, I think I would go up to like five or six tutors even and just like make sure odds are in favor of me finding Wild Pair every single game because it feels like a deck that would be really sweet with Wild Pair on the battlefield. But then we saw without Wild Pair, I'm just kind of casting like random two twos, which are designed to be tutor targets, but they aren't good in just like a broad sense, but are good in like narrow situations. So it's a really unique deck and I would imagine actually revisiting again, but I would make a couple of small tweaks to to try to find wild pair more consistently. Anyway, I think that brings us to the end of our episode for today. So thanks again to everyone for sending in deck lists. It's always fun to play the viewer submitted decks. We will be doing it again in about a month or so. We will have another viewer submitted week. So if your list didn't get picked this time, don't worry, we'll be doing it again in the future. Uh, as far as next week, does anyone know what we're actually doing next week? I should have looked at this ahead of time. Mono white week. Is it really? <laughs> Wait. No, we we've suggested it, we've joked about it, but are we doing it at some point? Do we have what, do we have anything? Oh my god, it actually does say Did you just type that into the the spreadsheet or <laughs> no, is that No, 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 we joked okay. about it last week, didn't uh, we? It is <laughs> Apparently you were correct, Vince. It is mono. It is mono white week next week. So, so mono white week but we're banning Saram, soft banning Saram from the being commander is that correct yeah so Toma was scared it'd be too good so next week we will be doing mono white week in honor of uh, Vince's favorite color so <laughs> we're each going to be building a different take on mono white and uh, seeing which white deck is best so make sure to tune in for that next week thanks for watching Tom thanks for filling in at the last minute feel better Tomer and yeah we'll see you next week Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.